Do spark plug wires go bad? The answer may surprise you. Spark plug wires, do they go bad? I mean, are they considered a wear item? Are they gonna last the life of the car? I mean, tell us a little bit about plug wires. Well, with anything, wear and tear is gonna happen. From the tires, to even the oil in your application, to even the ignition wires. Over time, stuff happens. With the Grand Tail ignition wires, our wires are copper dipped stainless steel. Stainless steel is super durable. We use a solid core design, so it's never gonna wear. So now that we know that plug wires can indeed go bad, whether it be wear or, or a mechanical issue, what about uh, ignition misfires? You know, uh, someone's fighting a misfire in their car and maybe they're throwing cap and rotor at it or they want, they're, they're thinking they need a better ignition coil, but can you actually have a misfire uh, condition with a plug wire? Well, if you think in reality, the spark plug is right in between the header. That's extreme amount of heat, depending mm -hmm. if you're just driving it every day or what we like to do, race the vehicles. Mm -hmm. I typically look right at the spark plug wire, right at the boot ends, just because there's so much heat in that area. Gotcha. But you can always upgrade to the ceramic boot end or Kevlar boot because that's the ultimate heat resistance that you can put on our ignition wires. So having either the ceramic boot itself or the protective sleeve is gonna help with the longevity of that wire in such a concentrated heat environment, especially if it's like a turbo manifold or, or, a, a, turbo manifold. Yeah, or a small compact engine compartment with say a big block or, or something like that. Anything to try to deflect the heat from the bottom of the ignition wire, I highly recommend. Gotcha, gotcha. Even even wrapping the header if needed? Oh, if wrapping the header isn't needed, I would definitely do that gotcha. too. Okay, now uh, last question, ignition wire diameter size. You know, back in the day, uh, you know, classic, uh, you know, your, your Camaro, Mustang, the factory wires were little seven millimeter, little, little sticks. Then, you know, you started seeing eight millimeter uh, performance wires from the factory. Yeah. Now you see 10, 12 millimeter aftermarket performance wires. Why, why go bigger? What's, why do you need the fatter wire? You don't need the fatter wire. What they're trying to do is they're trying to suppress all the RFI and EMI inside the wire. We stick with the standard eight millimeter. And what we do is we have the magic, what we call the magic donut. That's gonna suppress all the RFI and EMI inside the wire using the solid core technology. That's gonna give you the full power from the coil or the distributor to your spark plug. Gotcha. So, so the magic donut, as you call it, is a yeah. uh, RFI suppression ring and it's installed on each individual wire. Every single wire, no matter long or short, is gonna have the Grand Tele magic donut on the wire. And then with the eight millimeter size, it's gonna open up your uh, possibility for using any sort of ignition wire separator or bracket because it's a standard size versus going with some 12 millimeter wire where you're stuck using zip ties. Exactly. <laughs> you can go to any auto part store with my ignition wires, whether you have a big block Chevy, small block Ford, you can just go, hey, I need a wire separator. And the wire separator will ride on the Grand Tele wires. Great, great, that's good to know. Well, Jojo, thanks for, for all the information on ignition wires Thank today. And thanks for watching.